Of all Christmases, this year should be the most interesting. Growing up, we've had our mom with us every year. This year, things are different. Our family has gone through one loss after another, and to say the least, we weren't excited about this Christmas season. This year for Christmas, I'm finding myself having to almost force myself to um, get excited about Christmas just because with all the past memories that we've had in this year, we have to start fresh, so um, I have to really work at getting excited about it, but I mean, it's working, so that's good. This will be my first Christmas without my mom. Um, she passed away in January, so she was in the hospital for last Christmas, which was another odd Christmas, but at least we had her, and this year we don't have her at all. So we do just live on the memories. Every holiday that comes up, you know, we always have a tough time with it, and Christmas is always my mom's favorite holiday. This Christmas is different for me because now I've lost both parents, and as well as you girls have lost your mother, so it's kind of going to be empty somewhat, but then it's also a new beginning because all five of us are together. I'm looking forward to just uh, having the extra two children that live with me now and uh, just looking forward to having just a good time at Christmas. Because then my other grandma and grandpa died. Christmas is going to be tough there without Angie's mom and dad still alive. Uh, there's going to be a void they're missing. Trying to wear a smile on our face, we went on with the normal Christmas preparations, trying to start our own new traditions. Saturday, Mandy, Lane, and I went shopping and got some Christmas presents for people. And we went out to lunch. And then when we came home, we decided to hang out for the Christmas decorations. Um, we set up our Christmas tree and like put the bells up and lights up and different things like that around the house and um, our stockings and just and made cookies and made a gingerbread house. We just kind of had our big family day, sort of, and we made gingerbread houses. That didn't work out at all. And we made baked cookies and hung up some lights in our room. We put on the sun and put the angel on. Everything, and it was a lot of fun because it's just something we can all do together. All of us were home together, so it was really neat. Probably my favorite thing to do on that day was when we were setting up the decorations. Maybe change our red house? I like going shopping. <laughs> or, yeah, going shopping, it was a lot of fun to be able to do that, I think. But as we remember back to the first Christmas, we realize this holiday season isn't about traditions or focusing on our loss, but on new life. Jesus Christ, our Savior, was born, and that is something to celebrate. In this holiday season, our family is focusing on that. Not only the birth of our Savior, but the new addition to our family. The big exciting news is, believe it or not, at my age, I'm going to have another baby. Our stepmom is pregnant. The baby will be born around my birthday in August, which is even more exciting to me. And we are all so happy because it would be nice to have another little one running around here. So, that's the news. I think it would be nice if it was a girl because I want a little sister. It would be more fun to do their hair and stuff and <laughs> cute to dress up. But either way, we'll be fine. Okay, there's four girls and two boys and I want another boy and I do too. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, everybody! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Ha, ha, ha.